Yes, my darling daughter, you may hang your clothes on a hickory limb, but don't go near the water. And look what's up front. It's getting to a point where you can't tell whether these bathing girls are really having a good time or just looking for more publicity. Anyway, here's one way to make four figures look like a million. Up in the Cumberland Mountains of Old Kentucky, there's a little village. The only way to reach the village is to turn off the main highway several miles away and cut down up through and across hills, valleys, cliffs, and streams. When the inhabitants of the village thought that it ought to have a name, they decided to hold a contest. And contestants find the going mighty tough. A car has to make its own roads and build its own bridges or else swim across. Struggle, struggle, toil, and hope. No trouble, but plenty of mud, rocks, and bumps. The ruts get rougher and deeper, and it takes a steady hand on the wheel. As a matter of fact, to get anywhere in this contest, a fellow's got to have everything under control. And then, just to throw the rest of them off his trail, this driver takes to the water. An old creek bed doesn't make a very good road, but it's a good shortcut when you're in a hurry. Up in these Yaw Mountains, a road is still called a road, even if it's just an old pile of rocks. Anyway, they can't come much rougher than this. At last, he reaches the village. Congratulations are in order. And the village is named after the winner. The sport of wrestling finds its way into the Everglades. Tommy Clark, veteran of the ring, is touring the local countryside and carrying his opponent with him. Said opponent is riding comfortably in the back seat. Whether you can see him or not, he's there. Let me at him. His professional name is Punch Drunk Percy. No, not because he'd make a good handbag. However, they just call him Alley for short. Come on, Allie, show a little pep, or there won't be any herring for breakfast. Good gracious, Allie, you ought to see a dentist. Your 84th by cuspid there on the left side's in terrible shape. Now, stick out your tongue and say ah. Ah! <coughs> and now, how about a bout for the customers? Hmm. It looks like this may be just a flop. That's fine, Allie. Just like the big time. Great stuff. You sound like a champion. Don't criticize him, folks. He's doing his best. What more could you expect for a couple herring a day? And poor Allie, bout after bout, he goes round and round and always comes out on the bottom. And now, after that stiff workout, Tommy takes Allie out in the gentle breezes for his herring. Bank robbers and gangsters take notice. The riding, shooting Miami police are practicing their shooting on the run. What's this, a duel? Pistols at 20 paces, boys? Well, good luck. Just when a policeman begins to think he's a dead shot on two feet, they transfer him to the mounted squad, and he has to start all over. Hit and run drivers will have to watch out for these run and hit drivers. They used to shoot from the hip. Now they shoot from the knees. After winter comes spring. And along with spring comes every skipper with his boat. A little varnish, a little elbow grease, and she's ready for the spring launching. It's a long portage from dry dock to a faraway lake in the mountains. But it doesn't seem to worry this skipper. Shiver my timbers, says he. Mm, but this is no time for shivering. Balmy breezes are blowing over the bay. Tire down tight, and let's get underway. All ship shape, the lady that was known as Lou takes off on a long, dry cruise into the mountains. There's nothing like a private little lake miles from nowhere, fishing, swimming, and everything else that's fun in the good old summertime. And if there's a road that goes there, it's easy enough to take the boat along. Of course, a few assistants come in handy when it's time to unload, 
But it's no trouble at all with a gang like this. Avast, ahoy, and clear the docks, boys. Let her down easy, and we'll all go out to launch. In many cities throughout the country, the newest thing for downtown parking is this automatic collector of external revenue, the five-cent parking machine. And it's usually a welcome sight to motorists, for who wouldn't gladly fork over a nickel when he's in a hurry? Of course, no nickel, no parky, and that's no fooling. Well, girls, I was saving this, but if we must, we must. A twist of the wrist, and up goes the green flag, where it will stay for 30 minutes. No more, no less. Don't forget, girls, 30 minutes or else. Uh-oh, here's the or else, uniform and all. The little clock in the steeple has evidently ticked away the 30 minutes, after which down came the little green flag. The only way to get ahead of this watchdog is to get back every half hour and feed the kitty. Too late, Miss Parker, the little green flag has fallen to half-mast. So sorry, girls but you can't beat the parking watchdogometer. Stop the music, boys. The show is about to begin. And what a show, what a show. You might be all wet, but not socially, when you get a front row seat at this Florida water carnival. Anything and everything can and does happen in an open air swimming pool. In this corner, ladies and gentlemen, we have battling Burpo, together with his stooge, just a couple of matadors having a raft of fun. How ducky. When you float the mat on a nice soft pool like this, it saves wear and tear on the ringside seats, and it keeps the fight a lot cleaner, too. He's up, he's down. No, he's still up. Man overboard. Every good wrestler knows how and when to take a dive. And just to make sure, somebody greased the pole. You don't have to be a wrestler to know how, but it helps. Look out. My, my, isn't there a pair of flat feet in the crowd? <whistles> Must be a bit slippery. 